Well, if you believe in the softish landing scenario of a short and shallow recession with a couple of quarters of negative growth, say Q1 and Q2, then the market is a bit wobbly, but by the time that there is a slack in goods and labor market because of that recession, you have a drop in price and wage inflation, then the Fed doesn't go all the way to 525, stays around 475, and then the cut rates already in the second half of the year, and then you have happy endings for growth and for the markets in the second half of the year. Even if we're optimistic, inflation is going to be slightly higher than you expect. We're not going to have a real recession. We'll have a soft landing. Therefore, we have to go all the way to 525, stay on hold until the end of the year, and then cut rates next year. The Fed and the market will be surprised on how sticky inflation is going to be once it gets around 5-6-ish. Either they do much more, causing economic and financial crash, and in which case the equity market is going to be really sharply down because in a severe hard landing from current level, equity prices will have to fall another 20% or the wind power.